Following the hashtag RU reference list protest that took place at Rhodes University campus, student press organization Activate put together a 52 minute long documentary titled Disrupt. The hashtag RU reference list protest was the result of a submission made on social media releasing the names of alleged sexual offenders at Rhodes University. The general expectation of the premiere was that the documentary would be an unbiased representation of the actual events of the protest. I'm hoping that it's an accurate, well-balanced depiction of what happened, so I'm looking for something that um, kind of covers the full story. I do sincerely hope that it will be a complete, a whole representation of what took place. Activate premiered Disrupt on the 12th of May at the Barrett Lecture Theatre for students and Gramstown locals alike. The documentary addresses the silencing of students and staff members from Rhodes University during the protest, as is explained by design lecturer Brian Garman. Management and the university has a, <clears throat> um, ha has a machine for, for bringing out its own voice. And the student voice gets, gets very lost in that. Um, and uh, at best it gets interpreted or manipulated. So the students need a space where they get their, their voice out. One of the heads of cinematography, Chloe Osmond, expresses how she participated in the protest in both a personal and professional capacity. The arrests really shook me um, because I knew two of the girls who were arrested quite personally. Um, also, looking back now on the footage that we have of uh, the way that the police dealt with that, I think it was completely awful. And there were definitely times when my first like human response was to be like, I need to run. And then my very second and like over overriding response was to be like, no, I need to film this. Michael Dorfling, the director and the editor of the documentary, explains why the title of Disrupt is so significant. There's so many elements in the film that center around disruption and how we need disruption to change ways of thinking and change this societal you know, blindness to this issue. But also the film in itself is a disruption. With over 5,000 views on YouTube and set plans to screen during the Grahamstown National Arts Festival, Disrupt met audience expectations. Being, a, being not a student from Rhodes, I thought it basically gave me some context on the whole protest. I felt like Disrupt really did a good job of capturing just the kind of energy, you know, that surrounded the protest in its entirety. Um, and I really appreciated that. This is Afiga Lulo Jadezweni reporting for Magana Prime Time, Grahamstown.